Hey everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and I'm here today with Matt Walter, who is a product manager on Google Analytics. Matt, thank you so much for being here. Matt is gonna tell us all about an overview of the audience builder in Google Analytics for properties. So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Matt and you can take it away. Thanks so much, Krista. I'm super excited to be here. Let's jump into a couple slides that talk more about uh, the audience builder in Google Analytics for properties. So audiences in Google Analytics for properties let you segment your users in the ways that are important to your business. You can segment by dimensions, metrics, and events to include practically any subset of your users. As analytics gets new data about users, their audience memberships are reevaluated to ensure they still meet the audience criteria. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the use cases in the audience builder. There are many ways that you can use the audience builder. For example, I can create an audience for reporting purposes in analytics. I could filter analytics reports by an audience as a dimension. A second thing I could do is if I have a linked Google Ads account, I could use that audience in the shared library within Google Ads. And then I could create an ad campaign and use that audience for targeting in that campaign. Essentially, you can remarket to your existing or previous users, or you could create similar audience to prospect to new users as well. Next, there's a feature in Google Analytics for properties called audience triggers. And audience triggers let you trigger events when users match the definition of an audience and become members. You can then mark those events as conversions and use them for bidding purposes in linked Google Ads accounts. And then lastly, there are products in Firebase where you can use your audiences. For example, with cloud messaging, you could reach out to audiences with push notifications to re-engage those users. Or with remote config, you could customize or personalize the experience in your app for those users or run A-B test against these audiences. Now I'm going to show you a demo of how to actually create an audience inside Google Analytics for properties. Now here we are in the Google Analytics for demo account, Floodit. Now I'm going to show you how to create an audience. Once you're in Analytics, go to the Configure section. And then from here, click on Audiences. In order to be able to create an audience, you need edit permission for the property in which you want to create the audience. Also note that there is a quota limit of 100 audiences that can be created per property. Now I'm actually going to create an audience. Go ahead and click on new audience over here. There are two paths here you could take. If you already have an idea of what audience you want to create, you can start from scratch up here at the top by clicking on create a custom audience. Or if you want help from Google, you can come down to the suggested audience library and pick a template of different audiences that you could use. For example, here in the template section, if you click on technology, we'll always want to give our audience a name. So you can give it whatever name you like. And then here, here are some different criteria I can use for filtering. So say, for example, I care about filtering by a specific platform. So maybe I choose iOS. And then I could maybe take that a step further and say, there's a specific app version or OS version that I, I care to filter by. You could also set that as well. Once your conditions are complete here, you can go ahead and click the Save button, and that will save your newly created audience. I also want to show how to create an audience from scratch. So come up here and click on the Create a Custom Audience button. You'll always want to give a title to your audience, and you can do that up here. And then optionally, you can add a description line to help you recognize or describe your audience as well. Down here is where you actually add the conditions for the audience that you're building. So let's say, for example, I want to build an audience that focuses on users that have started a level in my app. I click on Add New Condition and search for the level start event that I'm already logging. And let's say that I care to focus on users that have started a level at least three times. I can click on the event count parameter and have the condition set to greater than it's at the value is three. Now that I've set this, this audience represents users that have started a level in my app at least three times. You'll notice over here on the right in the summary card, this shows you the approximate size of users in this audience. And this is based on user behavior over the previous 30 days. And then up here, you can set a membership duration for how long you want users to be included as members with inside your audience. Now let's say I want to add one more layer to this audience and I want to exclude users that never completed one of my levels. So I would come here and click on add group to exclude, click on add new condition, 
and I would search for the level end event. Now what this audience is saying is there are users that started a level in my app at least three times, but they actually never successfully ended or completed a level. Maybe this represents users that were frustrated or for whatever reason weren't able to complete a level. I could then create this audience and then market to those users via a Google Ads campaign, for example, to encourage them to come back and complete the level or try out the game again. One more case that I wanted to show here is if you go to this audience trigger section and click create new, a powerful use case is you're able to make your audience even more actionable. For example, you can extend audiences use cases into bidding uh, in Google ads. So what audience triggers do is they allow you to create a new event when a user becomes a member of your audience. So if you have an audience that you feel represents your most valuable users, you can trigger a new conversion event as new users are added to that audience. And the best part is there's no extra developer code uh, required to do this. So I could set a name for my audience trigger, click save. And then once I save the audience, new events will start to show up as users populate that audience. Then these new conversion events can be sent to a linked Google ads account and can be used in auto bidding. So now we've seen an overview of how to create audiences in Google Analytics for properties. Thank you so much, Matt, for showing us how to build audiences using the audience builder in Google Analytics for properties. There's some really exciting stuff here, and I hope you guys can get started today.